is Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing a box of blind boxes that I purchased off of Instagram. I actually bought this almost a year ago now, and I haven't opened it for such a long time because I actually had a bit of bad feelings about this when I first got it. Besides having to pay a lot of shipping, because I did buy this from someone in the US, and the shipping price between Canada and the US is really expensive. I also ended up getting hit with a custom fee that was ridiculous. The person who sold me these figures was nice enough to give me some of my shipping costs back, but I kind of felt really bad about these boxes, so I kind of put it away and didn't open it, and I recently found it and realized I had never opened it up. And sorry if I make the title a bit clickbaity, but I did end up paying a lot of money for these, well worth more than the actual boxes themselves. So not the greatest, and probably a lot of these I didn't need to pick up. I probably should have just stuck with the holy grail ones that I really wanted and didn't pick up all the other faff. But when you know you're paying a lot for shipping, sometimes you go a bit ham and it turns out to not be a great idea. But I did and we have the figures now, so let's go ahead and open these up. So I have the box in front of me. I have my trusty cat exacto so we can open these up. And I'm sitting here on the floor so Butter might come and join us. We will see. But let's get into unboxing. I'm gonna start with the Penghu Series 1 figure from 52 Toys. I had a blind box of this for the longest time and when I opened it up I think I got the same figure that is in here. Oh and it looks like the bag's never been opened. Oh that's fun. You know what? I might actually just look at the card then. Our cute stretching tiger. I was a big fan of this one so I wanted to open it up and I actually got it with my own luck which is really fun. If you do want to see more Peng Hu and Tiger figures, I'll link a video right now where you can check that out. Because this is a repeat, I will give that to somebody else. Let's see, for the next one, maybe let's do the Gachapon one. So the Gachapon one is really fun. It's these cute deers, and I forget what they're called, but I'll put them up on the screen. And one came in the Gachapon. And the other one is just in bubble wrap, no gachapon. This one is the color that I really love. And they are very, very sweet. I really love these. I think they're so soft. I definitely don't regret these, although I don't know if I needed needed them, but they did turn out to be super cute figures and they seem really well made. And I don't think I've ever seen these available to buy within Canada, so this was probably a really good pickup. I think I'm going to do these Pucky ones next. So we have Pucky Relax Beanie. And at the time, these were only available in stores in the US and really hard to find. They are not hard to find anymore. They're actually really cheap to get off of AliExpress. And also... I know a few stores here in Canada for resellers have had them and some have even had them as blind boxes but I didn't pick them up so I think most of these I probably could have picked up after the fact without having to pay the crazy shipping and the crazy tax on them. But here's a look at the side so you can see what all of the options were. I did end up picking up three of these and I forget which ones I picked up and I have picked up a few more of these since then so hopefully I didn't pick up any duplicates. So let's see what our first one is. It's the cute cheerleader. Oh and this one comes with a stand. This series of Pucky was so cute. I wish I had gotten these as blinds on my channel. I think that would have been really fun to open them that way. So that is the cute little stand and we have our cheerleading pucky. Oh and we'll grab the card out. This box is actually really heavy. Oh man <laughs> I can see why the box is so heavy now. Oh and did these not come with a card? I guess not. We don't have a card in there. And let's do our second box and then I'll give you a close-up of all of them together. 
One, two, three. And this is the super cute blue. And I think that's more of a red. I really love the ones with this crazy kind of twirly head like this. I thought that was really fun. And this one does come with a little accessory. I think it looks like a candle. So this cutie has a little ice cream on it. That is super cute. And let's see. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't have a card either. So I guess this series was no card. And... Oh, we have the cute orange and pink one. And you know what? I actually did end up buying this from Toy Donut. And I couldn't remember which one I had already gotten from this seller. So I do have two of these. So here is all of the puckies together. What did you think about this series? They're really cute, right? I'm glad I have these, but I definitely could have picked these up from another reseller for way cheaper. And we only have a few boxes left. Who should we do? I think we'll do this one. This is from the Cat Drink series of AC Toys. I've been waiting for this for a while. So let's have a look. One, two, three. Of course, I had to pick up the Peach Drinks Cat. I couldn't go without it. And it is a Adorable. I am really happy I did end up picking this up. I definitely think it looks a lot more peachy in the card though. Yeah, the card definitely looks a lot more peachy than it does in person. I do think the underside is a bit orange, but I still really love the face and I think it's a pretty nice ombre. You can definitely tell that these were the holy grail figures I was excited most about because I'm leaving them to the end. But let's go ahead and unbox this one. So this one is Uo Uo. Not sure if I say that name properly or not, but these are really cute clear figures. I did try and buy these off of my plastic cart, but they kept selling out. I am really excited to see which one I got because I think I totally forgot. I don't know if I got my favorite from this series because I think I just bought the one that was available. Ooh, and this one is in the bag. So this is the first one we can open up on our own, which is exciting. One, two, three. Oh, I got the pink one with hearts. That's a pig. Of course I did. <laughs> Whatever's on the inside is pretty soft. It does look like cotton balls or little cotton puffs. So it's not going to be a really loud rattler. But this whole series is clear, and I think a lot of them do have things inside so that they rattle. I really like the window in the bottom. I think you could probably take them out. This looks like you could probably twist it and maybe open it. Oh, I love the little wings. The ombre on this is really cute. This one is definitely peachy. I think when we compare it to the cat, the cat's more of like an orangey. Oh, I love this one. And here is the card. Oh, and it is called Peach Pig. Okay, so this one is peachy. I thought I picked this one up for that reason. Although I do love pigs. I definitely love anything with a peach theme more. And the full name of this series was Zoo on Uo Uo Island. I do really like the rainbow ones as well. This is a really cute series. If they did a series two or another series like this, I would definitely pick it up. And we're down to the OG figures that I picked this box up for. This was the main one that I saw. This is a really, really old series. And this is a really old series as well. So this is the original Cassie Cat series. I have unboxed Cassie Cat on my channel before. And here's a look at all of the different varieties. So you can let me know what your favorite would be. And if you could pick this series up, which one you would grab. I'm curious to know if you could guess which one I would like. Oh, wow. Look at how that box opens. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Wow, that is amazing. Look at that detail. Oh, I'm really excited to see the card for this series. Oh, I already spoiled it. <laughs> so the first one that I got is this beautiful white and black money one. And this one is just so incredibly cool. 
This was such an awesome series. I almost got a full case. I know someone was selling a full case of these and I almost bought it just so I could get some figures from this series. Let's go ahead and have a look in the box to see the things that it comes with. I know Mochi in particular usually has like a stand and I think we have a stand. So the first thing we have here is the card. It's interesting because the character is missing. And then we have this one that's just the instructions on how to make the stand. And this is what the stand looks like. So it looks like just inside of the box, which is really cool. So you basically put this there and then you can put the figure like it's on a little throne. And this is from the inside of the box. It comes out, so you could totally DIY this too. And that one didn't have a character card. I'm curious if this is gonna be the same. These aren't the secret editions though. They are just the regular ones. But we will see this one. And this one is my favorite of the whole series. It's such a cool figure. All right, one, two, three. Ah, uh, it's the skeleton one. Of course, the skeleton one is my favorite one. I love everything skeletons. Yeah, Cassie cats are always so well detailed and really interesting. This one is holding a bunch of bills and has such a crazy smile. I really love this one. It's so cool. Let's have a look at what's inside and then I'll give you a close up for those figures. So we're gonna have the same stand and it looks like this series didn't come with a character card, just this a blank one, which I'm not really a big fan of. I would rather have my character on it. Oh, and the stand for this one is black. So it is a different stand. So the whole series probably comes with custom stands. I think these Cassie Cats look like literal art pieces. They are so amazing. This was such a wonderful find. I am really happy I picked these up and have them in my collection. Cassie Cats seem to be pretty limited, which I'm not a huge fan of, and they don't put out enough series in my opinion. But the quality and just the style is really cool. I think this first series was even more impressive than the later ones. Even though I love the Zodiac and the drinks one, I am so happy I can add these into my collection. This is just such a great joy for me to have these ones. And we have our last one. This is from Tara McPherson and it is Stellar Dream Scout. And this is from kid robot who I normally don't like the quality of and these figures I definitely don't think are an amazing quality. I love Tara McPherson's art. I always want to support her. She seems like such a great artist and I do have a few of these that I did buy as blind boxes in store. I actually have the secret edition. I have this cute polar bear and I did an unboxing last year. I'll link to that as well. And I was hoping to get more figures from this series, like the cool elephant and then the other regular whale. And this one down here is definitely one of my favorites from this series. And we have these ones too, which are really cute. I really like the oil sludge. And then I got the two worst ones, these two here. I'm not a huge fan of these and they're really tiny. Like compared to my other ones, they're like a fifth of the size. All right, so I will show you which Tara McPherson Stellar Dream Scout I got. I wish I could have more of these for sure. I almost wish I'd gotten a full case, but Kid Robot's full cases have so many repeats, I never want to buy them. One, two, three. And it is the one that is just the head on this kind of burst of water. And wow, this looks even more amazing in person than I thought it would be. Wow, this one is so cool. Oh, I love the clear vinyl. The head is a very cheap feeling. You can kind of hear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. I think the makeup on it looks incredible. The face and just... I have been wanting this for the longest time. This was one of my favorite ones from the series. I'm so glad I was able to get this one. And I think it really resembles her art really well. And I looked for the date and this one says 2018, 
which is interesting. I thought this was from 2007 and later. So not like crazy old. Five years old, I guess, is a long time in the toy industry. But this is the card. And the name is Namaka. Oh, I love the card for this one. So pretty. I definitely would love to get even more of these. I'm so happy I have her. She is one of the really rare ones compared to the rest. The oil splodge I think would be so fun. And the other regular whale. These ones are really cool because there's a rainbow that goes between them. So you kind of need to get both. Oh yeah, this series is so fun. And the elephant with the balloon. I think this is probably the next one that I really want, but I don't know if I'll see these. I don't know if they were super popular. I'm so excited to have one of my favorite artist figures. This isn't as good as getting like a Junko Mizuno blind box, but it's pretty close. Junko Mizuno ones are so hard to get. And what do you think about everything I unboxed in today's video? Now seeing my holy grails, I almost forget that this was close to $300 Canadian. And if we include the Penghu one that I didn't take out of the box, this is 10 figures. So I think I almost paid close to like $25 to $30 for each figure, which is crazy. For these two, it's really worth it. For her, it is really worth it. Maybe even this one, just because I've never seen this available to buy already opened. Definitely not for these, no way. And for any of our little pucky ones, I could have gotten them already opened for like $15. So I think this video goes to show you that when you see someone selling online, not to get too hyped up, you don't necessarily need to add a figure or two extra on that you're only lukewarm on. Although at the time I was very excited for these puckies. It's more in retrospect, it wasn't worth it. All of these were reasonably priced. When I did pick them up, it was just the crazy customs and then the shipment charge on top of it that made these like twice the price of what they were when I actually bought them. I definitely think I'm scared off of buying anything from someone in the US. Obviously, I know if I buy within Canada, I'm not going to get taxed. And when I buy from AliExpress, I usually don't get custom charges. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I don't think I regret these, but they weren't a very smart buying option. I would love to hear your opinion, and I would love to hear what's the highest you've paid for a holy grail in the aftermarket compared to what the original price was. I'm really excited to read your comments to see what you think, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.